Next game in the round of 16 is two Chinese facing each other. Who will follow Happy, 1-2-0, Fly and Romantic? It's one of these two guys. Yumiko or Colorful. Yumiko is the... A little bit of the favorite, according to you guys. Very good stats against Night Elf, very good stats against Colorful in general, who once again disappointed us at WGL. Yumiko uh, was playing some cool games. He didn't make it out of the group, but he entertained us. And that's one of the reasons why it's so cool to have Yumiko back. He's very refreshing, a very different style than all the other human. So... Yeah, he's definitely a good addition to the scene. Uh, same as Remind, who in the end might be a little more successful than Yumiko in general. But the Warcraft scene without Yumiko... I don't know. Something was missing for sure. So Colorful, still a young and talented player, 25 years old. But yeah, it feels like online he's way better still waiting for the big breakthrough moment of his after his uh, top eight run at wgl winter last year so a question here keeper demon hunter or warden should be a demon hunter oh wow what okay for a second i thought what the hell is going on warden on ch but yeah that's the standard uh build so far. Remind was playing a keeper here, right? If I'm not mistaken. And an Archmage by Yumi. Uh, no Blood Mage or Mountain King opening, which makes sense. So far, so standard. A player's forces are yeah, chat confirms the pre-game talk, by the way, that not too many people are doing presents anymore for Christmas. And I like that. I like that a lot. For kids, yeah, of course. That makes sense. So, no deny those far... Force kind of close, attack. but he makes it with the gloves of haste. Yumiko creeping here as well, getting a glove. Nice detonate. Wisp is gone. No experience though. Demon Hunter is running over. I keep mentioning this. Colorful, maybe the only person in the scene still willing to go for immolation. And he's holding on to the skill point. Maybe a little out of position for that. So no mana burn at the moment. You mean no tech due to heavy militia usage early on? And that's a fast attack for Colorful right here. Do you get a present from Remo? <laughs> no. A player's forces are under attack. So no expansion play by Colorful, no emulation. It's evasion now, as he knows that level two is right around the corner. There we go. Yumi creeping the turtles, big on footmen so far, with early defense as well, despite there being no mercenary camp. Tekka started a little slower than the Night Elf, which is fine. And again. Movement with the Demon Hunter always a lot earlier than the creep is finished. So the archers um, clean it and you have more movement. Good utilization of this Demon Hunter so far, but pretty much no mana burns. And that enabled Yumiko to creep a little heavier than usual. Yes, he's losing the water elementals now. He has another one though. Good inventory as well. And close to level 3. So the little green one is level 3. Demon Hunter is coming in, playing around it. Oh, didn't get it in the end. Good positioning by the footman who now has defend. Last water elemental summoned for the mana burn comes in. So not much to do for colorful really.
I bought my nine-year-old nephew Smash Bros for the Switch. Best uncle ever confirmed. Dude! Yeah, you will attack. be a hero. This Christmas. I hope he's not watching. But I never said your name, right? So it doesn't matter. So Yumiko cleans this as well. That's his level three. And a staff. Wants to be disruptive a little. Only now the turtles for colorful. Hunter Saul is a little late. Also the tier two hero. Feels like colorful is slipping a little in macro. Naga second. Okay. And yeah, Yumiko is expecting some lores here. <laughs> it's pretty much the perfect timing for it. But nothing to be found, really. Archmage still has the staff. There's no disable. So he can just staff away whenever he needs to. So what's he going for? Blood Mage? Yeah, Blood Mage it is. The new style for human. And tier 3 by Colorful. Rifle casters. For a Yumiko game, this is very standard. A player's forces are under attack. But the lores, man. That's an issue for Colorful. Two footmen might die. Archmage is here. No demon hunter for the mana burn. He's trying to reach around. Oh, this is so smart by Yumi. And yeah, he will be burned again, but he's not close to the next water elemental. He's putting in the damage, the necessary damage. The steps on cooldown, so he's got to be careful not to be blocked. Okay, that wasn't enough. And the second floor is coming in as well. So damage control by Colorful. But Dryads and Bears are so late. A player's forces are under attack. All right. Yumiko will need some time to be in fighting shape, but once he is, in like five minutes or so, four to five minutes. Colorful will be in quite some trouble. Thank you, Avanel88, for the 7 1 3 sub. No expansion. No rushed bears, really. He's trying to rush now. But yeah, no dispel, no double slow, as Remind played it. Well, that's risky. Ah, this Archmage, you me, take care. He does. You're not just trying to weave in and out, but we have this so important first sword ready. Okay, Yumiko gets it. That's the level up. Two footmen die for this, though. Oh, and, the, and stay on the sword, but he can't capitalize. Okay. Damage control for sure. What was the item? Talisman. Okay. And yeah, the uh, the Blood Mage wins the mana war for the human. As it oftentimes is the case. Lumber Mill, a Yumiko classic maybe. Double Arcane Sanctum and a Volt now. He's going to be late on breakers with this. Uh, but Yumiko loves to support his pushes with towers. Sometimes even with Lumber mills. It's creeping so much. I like this play. Naga had pretty much no impact. But Colorful is very strong now. Orb, Staff, Master Bears. Uh, no Breakers. Naga level is a little bit of an issue. And he gives too much time to Yumiko, I feel. We're close to 4-3, and that's the sweet spot. Especially if you have 4-3 and your opponent doesn't. Level 2 Fort Lightning is good against rifles. Level 2 Evasion is amazing. Oh, Boots of Kalpalas. For the third time today, I think. For the first time, it being really good. Devotion Aura is a dream, of course. So... 
Can we go in this cast? And oh wait. Black Mage is close to three, but he only has one skill, so not sure if he goes for Banish or Flame Strike. We'd love to see Flame Strike against the Bears. Banish is also very good to save his own units from the physical damage. Mixing in some Dryads now, but is that really enough crowd control? Like, not for sure. Colorful is not in fighting shape yet, and this gives more and more time to Yumiko, who gets the 4-3 now. And is even expanding, because he knows, okay, I can win fights close to my base. A player's forces are under attack. Then why not expand? The longer the game goes, the better it is for the human. His army is becoming so powerful, even without tier 3. Which is a pretty interesting decision by Yumiko, I think. Going double arcane sanctum rifles. Instead of tier 3. Uh, maybe I don't like this, not too sure. So Demon Hunter 4, Naga 3. Yumiko pushes behind this expansion. Still a couple of footmen. We have Flame Strike 2. No banish. Uh, no, yeah, first no banish and no siphon 2. That's interesting. Raw being recast. There's no mountain giant here. Flame strike doesn't hit too well. Anti magic shell to get rid of that slow, but what are, what are these bears doing? Pretty much nothing. Siphon seems to be a little too weak at the moment. Maybe that decision to go for Siphon 2 would have been better, but the footmen all survive and the bears are all out of that fight. What can the demon hunter do there? Staff is on cooldown actually. So is, like, the TP is on the Naga. Colorful! What's this? Slow on the demon. Flame strike! Demon Hunter barbecue. Oh my god. What a mistake. Not calculating the staff cooldown. That's such an easy game for Yumiko. Flame strike again. Spoosh. Okay, it's a pretty good AoE spell. If you have mana, and Siphon makes sure he will constantly have mana. Did Yumiko lose anything? Like two footmen or so? <laughs> He's in a position where he can spend all his damage on the Mountain Giant while play. Oh my god. Poor control by Colorful. These archers, unnecessary damage, not moving them at all. And yeah, the bears just walk into the volleys of the rifles and just die one after another. The next. Another one. Yeah! Flame strike! In the end! Was a good decision! <laughs> Siphon right next to the Naga. GG! Yeah, that was again an unimpressive colorful. Giving Yumiko way too much time. And Yumiko had a game plan here. Maybe even have a little bit of fun. But everything worked for him. I think the the riskiest position that Yumiko was in was the red spot camp. Which in the end wasn't too hard for him either. I thought this would be more of a challenge. More of a 50-50 matchup. But smooth sailing. Um, pretty much no harass, like, especially in the early. Aren't you supposed to burn the Archmage as often as you can, so he has less water elementals and creeping takes more time? But Yumiko could do whatever he wanted. Good timing for Yumiko as well. Going for these lores. I mean, the lores were laid already. Everything at the beginning of Tier 2 was a little off for Colorful. That doesn't work this way. Afterwards, we have the same matchup. It's going to be TH versus Lawliot, though. Very, 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 very different from what we see here. 
Uh, WFZ, by the way, is the third undead in the quarter. Finally, he defeated Sea High Toon with a two and one. Interesting that he lost the map. And I guess Focus First Meteor is played at the same time. 2,000 viewers. Nice, ladies and gentlemen. Love to see this. 109 players for the Rising Star Cup. Still time for you. Cup starts in less than three hours, so it's time to sign up. But all right, we go into map number two. Match points for Yumiko, who could be the first human in the round of eight. And if he continues to play like this, if Colorful continues to play like this, that sounds definitely doable. Oops, sorry. There you go. Amazonia it is. Interesting choice by Colorful. Um, Yumiko in the bottom left. On this map, a tier 2 tower push has become very normal. As one of the very few maps where this is happening. And if Colorful lets Yumiko creep in a way he did on CH, then I really don't know how to defend this. Of course, Chad is talking a lot about the matchup now, but just rewind 24 hours. Remind versus Chimiko. I think it's pretty much the same level of play that we see here now. Yumiko, Chimiko, Remind, Colorful. And it looked completely different. Remind had a very straight up game plan, executed it super nicely, all his tasks, like all the checkboxes he created, did that. So it's not only about the matchup, it's the way you play it. I mean, obviously, in the very late game, Human seems very, 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 very strong at the moment. And I will never deny that, but there's ways to challenge the human more. Let's put it that way. If you blame everything on the matchup alone and not on the player, that takes away from the skills and abilities of the players. So. So. Level 2, Claws of Attack, nice start for Colorful. And a very fast level 2. Wait a minute! He's fast expanding? On AZ? Oh wow. This will come in as a surprise. Well, maybe not because Colorful, I think he had a Wisp here. He's running down. Is it time for immolation finally? Please give it to me. Another wisp, another death. Nah, not killing the water elemental though. We will do it now. And it is immolation. Oh baby, I called this so many times and I was wrong so many times, but finally I'm right again. Gets one kill here. This will be expensive. And this is the creativity I want to see from Colorful. It will hurt him in the late game, but if this expansion comes through unpunished, you have quite some trouble, my friend. And he's getting the kills. He gets rewarded for this play. Yeah, TP out. Yeah, mana and HP are low. But only two persons remaining. One is extremely hurt. Level three is far away. Moon juice is an issue, though. So how to follow this up? Needs a staff, which is ready now. I was just waiting for it, I think. Oh, boots instead of staff. Yumiko is doing the same thing. So power build starts late. Tech is already at 40% and let it burn. No, no emulation. Okay. Yeah, committing to the town hall. With the four archers, that seems to be the better idea. Archmage is coming in. Damage lowers, gets one archer kill. Second one is down, but the town hall falls as well. 
Cinnamel immediately reacted to with the dust. Okay, that's working a lot better so far. Expo cancelled. Lots of peasants killed. This is such an expansive expansion. <laughs> so how can Yumiko come back from this? Yes, of course. There's no mana burn at the moment. So he can do quite a bit with water elementals. But Colorful is coming in again. Ruthless aggression. Uh, not committing to it, though. Can he find an opening to the base? This is all walled off. There's no tower here. He checks for it. Maybe he can send in a wisp and staff on it. But that would re require a staff, obviously. Which he might not be able to afford. Hand us a huh. Isn't this panda getting completely wrecked by a blood mage? But then maybe he can level him up before the tech finishes? Or before the tech, like before the blood mage is really strong. This time the laws are not delayed. Um, the tech is a little slower, all indicating to a heavier um, contain. Expo for Yumiko is up. No rifles yet, so Dryads will have a strong time. A player's forces are under attack. But the Demon Hunter needs levels. He doesn't even have level three yet. He's allowing Yumiko back into this game. Because he has no siege damage, really. All he can do is kill peasants, and he will do that in a nice way. Immolation again. Breath of fire. Sweet combo. This tower will not come up. This is a lot of damage. Oh my god. Fireworks. And m m m multi kills. Oh wow, this is painful. Pretty much every single worker. Okay, scratch that. Ah! Last Mohican here. Out. Sweet drive-by attack. And now he has good control with the Dryads as well. I think he's forced to go heavier on the tier 2. Shouldn't completely skip on the Dryads. Uh, on, the, on the Bears. In my opinion. Or counter-expand. Ah, there is a counter-expansion. Okay. Here we go trying to push back. But with only Footman against Immolation and Breath of Fire. That's rough. <clears throat> Shredder blocks the zapper! Oh, Yumi! I mean, kind of Colorful's fault, right? Uh, not, not fault, but Colorful with a nice reaction. Didn't blow this up. He has to commit to the lore. Now, of course, he wanted this expansion, but it feels like the damage isn't enough. Breath of Fire, the footmen fall. Are they? Oh, he gets the lore in the end. But what about the tree? Yumiko is finding some answers, buying more time. Tier 2 tech is almost done. But the Zapper not killing... In the end, he got something. Okay. But he wanted that Tree of Life to be dead. Anyway. Defend upgrade now. Blacksmith a little late. Towers. Again, Night Elves are on a counter... Zeppelin threatening an attack, but not really happening. Panda finally level 2. Massive lumber issues. 
I think if he kills this tree, Yumiko is back in the driving seat. He will scout. Nice scout. Naga second by Yumi. But yeah, this expo was expensive, took some time, but it's up now. And Panda late game. I'm not too impressed. You can't control him well. Uh oh, Crit Jack. But it's only Dryads here. Plus this Panda. The 3 tech has started only now. Yumiko's a little lucky that this is not level 3 yet. On the Demon Hunter it is, finally. Is it 1 1 1? Yes, so we have Mana Burn. Not a strong Mana Burn. Double Sanctum Rifles again. With this expansion, of course, we can easily afford this. A player's forces are under attack. Shredder in the creep now. Wait. He didn't get the experience, did he? Did the Naga just get the experience? Big breath of fire and oh, what a follow up. These footmen are melting. Zeppelin comes in for the rescue, but he wants this Shredder as well. Next Breath of Fire could grill everything, but he doesn't. Naga slow. So good. Can he reach again? Dryads prevent this for now. The Zeppelin is in trouble. Really cool game so far. He gets the Shredder in the end, but how to get this Naga out? Committing the big invul. He stole that one, right? Oh my, he got everything out of this. TP out now, but oh, mana burn breath! Not enough. Nothing is working out for Colorful. That would have been such a big jump towards level 3, but not happening. Tier 3, Engine of Wind for a Hippo. Can go into Fairies later. But Yumiko is back in this game. The regions crawl all the value. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he's blocked. Uh, almost blocked. There's an opening. Well done. Oh, the value on the seal squad is so big. And he's rising up to 70. Sorks, breakers, rifles for the damage. Very, very well-rounded army. And Colorful just... I think you have to break your opponent on tier 2. With a heavier committed push. Or... Tech faster. He was very, very passive. After this, like the early game was so good. Yeah, Yumi hurt all your units. Forces are under attack. <laughs> Panda's level three, and he got the devotion arm. Demon Hunter is getting close to four. Master Bears in the works. Finished in three, two, one. Oh no, I'm not even sure if he has a staff. He doesn't, and no TP. Oh, the frog block! Oh my, he's really not lucky today. Nice to hand over the boots, but... This is a very dedicated push. With two heal scrolls and an interval. He has healers. He has a good crowd control, he has the damage, and he has towers up. How many master bears do we have? Two. Not good. Fury dragons, I like that a lot. Snipe though. Too close to the rifles. They're good. And the Breath of Fire. Huge AoE. Is that enough, though? Tower 60%. He needs a lot of mana, but the Panda has only one Breath of Fire and the perfect counter by Yumiko. Buying two scrolls of healing and everything is green again. Yeah, the footmen are suffering, but that's not really an issue. They're there to die. Really good reposition on the Fairy Dragons. 
Demon Hunter Slow staffed out. Colorful is doing surprisingly well so far, for my taste at least. But what to do if the bears are gone? Steps on cooldown, fork lightning, double kill on these bears. And it's still so much. It's still so much. He couldn't touch the dryads yet. Demon Hunter is back with an orb, okay. But Yumiko plays it really well. And the towers are up, attacking the tree on the back of this. Colorful is losing all three bears. It was just enough sustain with the two heal scrolls. Colorful was burning through his spells. And Yumiko had the right response. And there you go. Nice position now. With the shop, towers everywhere, expo down, plus the zeppelin. Okay, panda has no mana for nothing. This is unwinnable for colorful. 20 supply lead or 15 supply lead. Great zeppelin control. Man, it's fun to see Yumiko play. GG, 2-0. CH was very uninspired. I really loved Yumiko uh, Colorful's approach on tier 2 uh, on on the second game in the second game but then he lost grip of his opponent and Yumiko punished this so hard it was one of the best early expansion harasses I've seen in a long time killing so many workers cancelling the expansion but if you have no follow-up, if you play so passive on tier 2, and if you allow the human to go to tier 3, uh, to uh, two bases tier 2, great response, though. Always having slow, like double slow this time. Good timings. Nice holds, and yeah. Too bad for Colorful, he's out, but Yumiko, the first human, uh, the second human, sorry, in the quarterfinal, right after Romantic. And the third one could be TH. He's up in the very same matchup, which will look a lot different, because he is up against Law Lion. Next, we see the bracket once again. Tomorrow, Happy vs. Romantic, Fly vs. Colorful. Um, we're waiting for the result of Focus vs. Meteor, but it should be the case that Yumiko uh, meets Focus here. WFZ is up against TH or Lawliot, so the last player to go into the round of eight will be determined in the next match. We go into a little break, and then we're back here with Back to Warcraft, CC Masters qualifier number two, and you, of course, can still sign up to the Rising Star Cup number two, 111 players. We want more of this. Come in, come in, come in. We have... Two and a half hours until this cup starts. Uh, so sign up, make this event even better with more participation. We have a couple of pros here, but a lot of amateur players as well. So the more amateur players they are, the happier we are and the happier our sponsor is. So make AMD proud and we will see each other after a little break here for the CC Masters Cup.